back again. Lil Mitch is back in action for review number two today because my mouth is numb and still tingling from those blazing wings. For some reason, the burning kind of went away because I also got some medium wings to eat after to tame my mouth. And on the way back to work, I said, you know what, I'm still kind of hungry. Maybe I should mess around and eat one more of these wings. And that was a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. And now my mouth's on even more fire. So I got a request to try the um, Oreo Royale Blizzard from Dairy Queen, which has the fudge in the middle. So I said, what better time than now? Because my mouth's on fire. So two reviews, one day. So before we get started, reviewing this masterpiece, which, I mean, how cool is that? You turn it upside down and it doesn't spill out. That's how Dairy Queen rolls. It reminds me of this one time I was in high school and the lady turned it upside down and it started dripping, dripping. And she gave it to me and I threw it right back in the window. That didn't really happen. I would never do that. Anyways, let's talk about Dairy Queen, about their blizzards. I've never eaten their food. I hear it's not good. Um, they are Dairy Queen, not Burger Queen. King. Queen. But you can have it your way with the blizzards because there's a lot of flavors. So, here, they mix it so much better. Have you ever gotten a McFlurry at McDonald's? Those are okay. I do like that spoon they give you. It's like see-through and all that stuff. But, I find with that one, it leaves a little to be desired in the candy game. It's kind of slacking a little bit. But, um, Ashlyn and I, my wife, used to go back when we were dating. We were just young and in love, like we are now, but we were younger. And we used to always go, sorry I'm distracted, it's dripping because it's in the sun. Uh, we used to always go to Sonic and we'd get them blast and uh, they only put it at the top. Like you just got a little bit of candy in there and like halfway through it, it's literally just ice cream. So we used to ask for extra Butterfinger or whatever we used to get and they charge you more for it and then it's like still just at the top. But Dairy Queen, they mess around and blend that thing from top to bottom. And that's how it should be. Because I didn't ask you for ice cream with the crumpled up Oreos on the top. Mix it in. Anyways, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. My mouth feels a little bit better than the last thing I ate for some reason. I'm trying to see where this fudge is in there. Hmm. There it is. Mm hmm. I don't know if you can see it. And there'll be how there's fudge in there. Deep in there. Mm hmm. Now we're talking. That is good. They kind of hide it in there. But once you get in there, here we go. This might be a better show of it. It's like the Oreo one was good on its own, but when you add fudge, you're talking next level. Mm hmm I don't think I could ever get an Oreo one without the fudge, now that I've tried this. Wow. Hmm. I think for the one without the fudge, the regular Oreo, it's not usually what I get. I usually get um, Reese's or something. But the Oreo Blizzard itself, I, I'd give a four out of five. But with this fudge right here, I'm a you know sound crazy. I'm gonna give it a six out of five. And you probably don't think that's possible, but it's my scale, and I could do what I want. Cause YouTube's about to pay me five cents for my other videos. So I'm a baller now. I'll make up my own scales. Anyways, two reviews, one day. Don't get spoiled to it. I only did it because my mouth's on fire. I'm finna eat the rest of this thing up 
get back to work, and then I don't know how I'm going to feel after eating burning wings and then a blizzard and then going back to work. But, it's all for the YouTubes. Again, like, subscribe, comment, you know, the whole spiel. And uh, let me know what to review next. Because now I've reviewed all the things that people have told me to review. So I need something else. Peace.